A couple of years ago, I wrote an article about icebreakers, which was prompted by a discussion on LinkedIn, whether to break the ice or not. While many are icebreaker enthusiasts and diehards and really love them, there are others who are completely put off by them. Here's where I stand. I feel like everything you do in a training session should have a purpose. So if your topic requires that people build trust with one another and develop relationships, then it can be really worthwhile to do an icebreaker. If you need people to be able to network after the event, an icebreaker can be worthwhile and worth the time. On the other hand, if it's not related to your content and there's no use, you may want to think twice about it. Even if the purpose is just to get them relaxed and comfortable in order to be able to learn and embrace learning, that may be your justification. But whatever it is, if you decide to do it, be transparent about it. The other question is, what do you call these things? Do you call it an icebreaker, an opener, or nothing at all? That part's up to you. But here's what it might sound like when you're introducing an icebreaker if you decide to do one. I actually don't call it by name. I'm going to introduce uh, the use of a thumb ball. Here's what it would sound like. Because our session requires a lot of participation and interaction, and I'd like to get your blood moving around a little bit, we're going to do, uh, use this crazy tool called a thumb ball. And the way it works is that when you receive the ball, you're going to respond to the prompt under your thumb. But because I want to help us remember names and get a sense of your goals for the session, when you receive it, how about you share your name, respond to the prompt under your thumb, and share a goal. So, Edie. Give me a toss. Oh, okay. Am I an ask or tell? Uh, probably a little bit of both if I think about that spectrum, but I'm probably more of an ask kind of person. My name is Sue, and my goal for the session is to help all of you learn, share the knowledge among yourselves, and I'd also love to learn something from all of you. So that's how you use a thumb ball and how you talk about icebreakers in general.